Hi friends! Great to be back with you again today. We're drawing our way through the alphabet, right? And we have drawn something that started with the letter A, drew an apple. B, we drew balloons, right? We drew something that started with the letter C last time, cat. And today, we're going to draw something that starts with the letter D, right? D makes the sound like duh, duh, as in doll or door, right? So today, we're going to draw something that starts with the letter D. And as you know, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'd like you to try to guess while we're drawing. Okay, so I'm going to move the camera over. While I do that, get your paper, marker, and crayons ready. And we are going to draw something that starts with the letter D. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to put my camera up here. Make sure it's all lined up. Yep. Okay. And I have my marker, take the cap off, and just like we did the other days, we're holding our paper vertically, which means it's longer from top to bottom than it is from side to side. Okay, so let's get started. We're drawing something that starts with the letter D. D makes the duh, duh sound, all right? Let's go to the middle of our paper and draw an oval. Okay, an oval is a lot like a circle. It's just stretched out a bit. And your oval doesn't have to be perfect. You see mine is a little different up there. It's not exactly an oval, but close enough. And that's all we need to do. Okay, and over here at this end of the oval where my finger is, we're going to draw a circle like that. Okay, so we have an oval and a circle. Next, I'm going to go to this end of the oval and I'm going to draw a dot here, a dot here, and trace my finger out and a dot here. Okay, so we have three dots. Let's just connect them. So I'm going to come up here like this. I connected the first dot. Come up here like this. Connected the second dot. And then I connect the third dot. Any guesses what this might be? Remember, it starts with the letter D. D makes the sound duh, duh. Okay, next, I'm going to add some things down at the bottom here. So this is the bottom of that first oval you made. We'll go over to this part of it. Just make a line down. Move over a little bit. Another line down. Move over again. Another line down. And again. Another line down. Hmm. Any guesses? It's starting to take shape. Let's keep going. We're going to make ovals again this time at the bottom of each of these lines. All right? So I go to the bottom of this line, make an oval. Bottom of this line, make an oval. Bottom of this line, make an oval. And the bottom of this line, make an oval. Right? Uh oh. Uh oh, I think I'm hearing some guesses. Do you think this could be some kind of animal that starts with the letter D? Got some legs down here. We have a little tail, a head, a body. Duh, duh. <gasps> You guessed it, we're drawing a dog. That's right, let's add some details 
to our dog. Remember, this hand that's not doing the drawing holds nice and firmly down on the paper so it doesn't move while we're drawing. So we're going to come up here to this circle and start some details. By this circle, I'm just going to make another circle. It kind of overlaps. That's going to be the dog's ears, right? And I'm going to go down to this end, make a smaller circle that overlaps, and I'm going to color it in. You guessed it, that's the nose. That's right. Another circle right about here. And inside of it, another little circle that I'm going to color in. Sometimes when I color in an eye, I leave that little white speck in the middle of it. That kind of gives it a look I like it to have. It gives it some, makes me think that it's looking a certain way, right? Then I'm going to go back to the dog's nose, trace down just a little, and give him a smile. He's a happy dog, right? And we drew a dog today. Dog starts with the letter D. So let's go up to the top of our paper and draw the capital D. Straight line down, hop up to the top, nice big curve, kind of looks like a belly, right? And then lowercase d, straight line down, back up, and around. Capital D or uppercase D, lowercase d, dog starts with the letter D. D makes a sound, duh, duh, duh. We made a great dog. Let's color it in, right? So I'm going to put the top back on my marker so it doesn't dry out. And just like yes, last time, right, when we made a cat, he was so colorful, I'm going to make this dog colorful. So I'm going to start right with our oval in the middle, his body, and like we did before, trace the shape, right? This hand's holding the paper so it doesn't move, okay? This shape feels a little big for me. It seems like that's a lot to color in, so I just divide it in half, and I have two smaller pieces to color. So I'm going to color this side. Right. Then I'll move over to this side, color that in. Right. And we have his body colored in. Next, let's see, I'm going to color his ear red. He's going to be a super colorful dog, right? Sorry, I just bumped the camera. There we go. I'm going to first trace the outline of his ear, which is a circle. Okay. We'll color it in. You hear my crayon? You know I love that sound, right? The sound of the crayon going against the paper, filling in all these little white parts. Right. Next, I think I'm going to color the tail. I'm going to make that tail green, right? So first I trace the area that I'm going to draw, kind of like a triangle, right? A little bit of a curve. Still it has three sides. You could call that a triangle, right? Next, I'm going to color in his face. I think I want to make the face purple. So the face is a little tricky because there's other shapes within it. So first let's trace the outline. I'll start at the nose. Then I'm going to go around that ear part because I don't want to color that. That's already red. Then come down around here. Trace around the nose. 
Another thing I'm going to do is trace around his eye. I don't want to color in the white part of his eye. I want to leave that white. So as I outline this, it reminds me when I'm coloring not to color into the eye. You may want to color into the eye, and that's okay. You color your dog however you would like. But I want my dog's eye to stay white. Okay, now we only have his feet. So I think I'm going to get out an orange crayon and color in his feet. They're little ovals, right? So I'm just going to trace them and color them in. Trace the next one, color it in. Next one, color it in. And the last one, color it in. One, two, three, four feet. And look at that. Our dog is done. He looks great, right? I'm going to move the camera over so we can talk about our dog pictures. Okay, so we made our dog. And dog starts with the letter D right? D makes the sound da, da. And dog, when you say that word dog, you can hear that da sound, right? It was so great to color with you today. Uh, join me again next time where we'll be doing the letter, you guessed it, E. All right, see you then.